It's that time of the year again. The lights are hung, the Christmas tree is decorated, even Master Yoda and the TARDIS made it on the tree this year. Wait, wait, what's that? Are you kidding me? I just got these lights. We can't have a burnout strand of lights on Christmas. What will the children think? We need to fix this right now. <laughs> I've got a couple spare strands of lights. You can see here on this strand that I've got a bulb out here, another bulb out there, another bulb out there. And then I get to the middle of the cord and what ends up happening is that this entire section on the other side is completely out. In order to fix the lights, we're going to have to understand how they work first. On the 100 mini light strand, notice that there's three wires. On my drawing, electricity will flow through the red wire, up through the lights, and then back down and return on the blue wire. This is because the first 50 lights are hooked up in series. Because electricity flows from one light to the next in the first 50 lights, if one has an issue, they may all go out. Christmas light strands used to all be in series, but what manufacturers have done is they've hooked two series circuits up in parallel with one another. This means if a light bulb has an issue, only half the strand will go out. Notice that the red and blue wire run from one end of the strand to the other. It's like an HOV lane for electrons. You see, if something's hooked up in series, there's only one path for the electrons to flow. But if a circuit's hooked up in parallel, then the electrons have more than one path to choose. In our case, it's the green section that's not working, but because each series section is hooked up in parallel, the black series strand still works. And if we plug in another strand, it'll work as well. First, let's replace any bulbs that are burnt out on the first 50 lights. I happen to have another strand that's half out, so what I'm going to do is use all the spare bulbs on this one to replace and replenish this string right here. Okay, good. We've fixed this entire section, this first 50 bulbs, this series circuit. This one's still not working. We're going to have to troubleshoot this later. We have 110 volts coming into this. And the way series works is a little bit of the voltage drops across each bulb. And as it drops, it drops the full 110 when it gets all the way over to here. All right, and back to the uh, back to the outlet up here. If all the bulbs are working, there's about two, a little over two volts dropping across each bulb. But if some bulbs go out, then each bulb has a greater voltage drop across it because there's not as many bulbs that are working. So therefore, if they have a larger voltage drop across them, then there's a greater amount of current going through these. They might be a little bit brighter, but they're gonna burn out a lot faster. You may be wondering if these lights are all hooked up in series. If one light bulb goes out, why don't they all go out? Well, some engineers got together and they came up with an ingenious invention. You can see the filament right there on the bulb, but if it breaks, the entire circuit should go out, right? If you look down here, it looks like there's wires going across the bottom, but it's not actually wires, it's actually an insulator. Instead of a conductor, the conductor here is the filament, but if the filament breaks, what happens is so much voltage builds up behind the bulb on one side, the insulator actually turns into a conductor. So if the filament's intact up here, the electrons are always gonna choose that path and the light's gonna glow. But if the filament breaks, a large built up of voltage will come in behind the light bulb here and this insulator will actually turn into a conductor and complete the circuit and therefore the rest of the lights in that series strand won't go out. To fix this second section, I've got a really good strategy. It involves a voltage detector, link below. Here I am at the break between the two series sections. This is our fixed section here. And then this section, we, we have a problematic area somewhere in here. Now, if we take our voltage detector and hold it up, it's gonna go off because no matter what, this, since this is hooked up in parallel, we're gonna have electricity flowing through this wire. Right? This section is a series section. So if I'm able to like pull this out and separate this wire and I hold up my voltage detector to it, you can see that it's dead. That means that 
Somewhere to the right, there's been some sort of break in the line. I'm not getting a voltage drop across this bulb. So what we could do is we can actually reverse the polarity, which means that instead of the electricity flowing this way and all the way down and then coming back up and up through the light this way, we could reverse the polarity on the plug and I'm gonna turn it upside down. Everything still works fine. Instead of electricity flowing this way, or sorry, that way, now it's flowing this way and it'll go up and through the wire this way. So I should have some sort of voltage here now. So let's just take this, we're gonna isolate this one. And you can see that we do have a potential difference going across this bulb. So now what we do is just kind of go along the line, skip a few, and pull this out. And we keep testing it. Just go a few bulbs, like maybe five at a time. Pull out one, isolate it, and we get some. And I'm using my full hand to insulate so that I don't pick up the other wire. Okay, that one's good. Move cut down a couple. So it's either this one or this one it seems. Take a look at this bulb. Ooh, look at that. So this wire is kind of just twisted around. All right, so let's just get a fresh bulb. And connection there on this one looks pretty good. Oh, yes. There we go. Go along this entire core. Now I notice I've got a few more bulbs out. One. We'll replace these just so that we can get our voltage across, voltage drop across each bulb down. That bulb doesn't work. <laughs> it's the problem with using another dead string of lights or half dead string of lights. Really? What's going on here? Maybe the socket is just not good. I'm just going to stick the wires out just a little bit more so that I can see if I can get a little contact in there. There we go. So my other bulbs just weren't getting contact. Now our strand's 100% fixed, and instead of taking off the old strand of lights, it's broken, I'm just gonna add this strand of lights to the other one and then wrap it around the tree. I'm gonna leave the other ones on there till the end of the season, and then I can fix it and then put it away for next year. We saved the day, we got the lights fixed. Merry Christmas.